I suppose one of the questions that really should be asked is what are sociopaths and what are psychopaths? Now, depending on who you ask, you'll get different answers. We'll start off with sociopaths. Sociopaths are people who were born without souls. They have no soul. They are just animated slabs of meat. And that's it. Uh, we can see this with sociopaths that they do not seem to have any original personality. They really go through their lives imitating other people and using that imitation to push themselves off as being better than others, much as like a con man with a new con, which has been based on previous cons. As for psychopaths, psychopaths are corrupted souls, very corrupt. Um, you know, I, I'll say it, you know, these people are basically demons who have been put into human flesh as a as a chance to redeem themselves amongst all other living physical life on this earth in this world. But no matter what, they are just bad by nature. You can give a psychopath as much money as he wants. You can give him a lifestyle which caters to his every whim. But at the end of the day, if he feels like raping and killing children, well, that's what he feels like, and no amount of money is ever going to change that. Sociopaths, they do the same thing, except they do it because of their physical needs or physical wants at any given time. A sociopath can have a rich wife who is good looking, keeps him in his whatever lifestyle he wishes to live. But if she goes away for a week and she's left a, let's say, a six year old daughter at home and relies on the sociopath to look after her, look after the child. And as, a, and as a girl, he will rape her because, you know, it's a lifestyle he's become accustomed to. Oh, my wife isn't here to, you know, open up her legs. So I will go for the next best thing. It's inconvenient for me to risk you know, that which I have. No, at a nightclub or somewhere like that or the next door neighbour's wife you know why should I bother when I've got a six year old girl with here with me now and we're alone you know time is money so to speak so he will just rape her and think nothing of it you know it was a type of rationality if you could say that purely based on physical wants whereas the psychopath will do these things even though he has no need to do it simply because he's just bad he's just a bad person a bad soul a corrupted soul and he will do it just for the hell of it so to speak now, as I said, these two groups, sociopaths and psychopaths, make up 5% of any given population at any given time. Are they classified as being mentally ill? No, they're not. It's just something that happens. At worst, they will be classified as having antisocial disorder. 
which is just a vague um, description which can lump them in with other people. I mean, antisocial, uh, a kid spray painting on the side of a train. Now, that, that's antisocial. A drunk walking down the street and taking a whiz on someone's car. That's antisocial. And yet, people who hate God, have sex with children, are classified under this. They're just antisocial. And you know, you have to ask, how is this how has this come about? You know, it's to be a psychopath or a sociopath is not that big a deal these days. Certainly not in society as they perceive it. You know, we have to look at the facts that these bastards have somehow got themselves into positions of power which is what they are drawn into because from positions of power they can inflict their misery onto you and they seem to be succeeding people seem to think oh it's just a pure purely human psychological thing no I will say this, this is satanic, because a sociopath cannot have any original thought, you know, they can only imitate other people, they can only uh, take ideas of other people who do have original thought, uh, demons have original thought. And all sociopaths do is take it and claim it as their own. And we see this today, you know, what with what politicians do, what with celebrities do, you know, they get on TV, they say something stupid, no sense, no logic to it, and people for some reason just dedicate themselves to this um belief which is just a personal musing of a particular sociopath or psychopath the most psychopaths do end up in jail because their desire to commit evil is stronger than any rationality because these are demons in human flesh which is just what they are you know, there's no rationality, you know. If you were to give me $10 million and, uh, let's say, give me uh, some sort of beach house in the Bahamas, you know, there would be no reason for me to go around committing crimes or stuff like that. In fact, I would be on my best behaviour. Because rationally, when I look at what I could lose if I do commit crimes, it's not worth it. A psychopath doesn't see things like that. It's just being evil for the sake of being evil. And the same applies to a sociopath. You have to understand that these people do not have a concept of happiness in its own right. Now, let's say your next door neighbour wins the lottery. Let's say he wins $2 million. Uh, let's say he, he's an average guy. He's an alright guy. He helps people out, you know, when he has the ability to, you know. You say an all-round good person. And he's won two million dollars, and you would be thinking, well, good for him, you know. I hope, <clears throat> I hope he does something with it, looks after his family, and so on. But to a sociopath, 
there is one at midship. Doesn't matter, some guy, he bought a lottery ticket for a dollar. Won two million dollars. It's just a chance uh, result. But as far as the sociopath is concerned, this guy is living better than me. He has slighted me. He has offended me by doing that. I'm his god. He has no right to have two million dollars. And and they cannot have any concept of someone else being happy. They can't say, oh well, good luck to him or anything like that or even being different. It's something that slighted them. You're, that guy's happy and if he's happy then I can't be happy because I am God, I am the first among equals. And these are the sort of people who have now got into like government, got into celebrity status, um, people who decide how you live and die. A psychopath, it's not about money, it's about inflicting misery because you have the ability to inflict misery. They cannot understand the concept of someone else apart from them being happy. So they go out of their way to make everybody miserable. That's the only way they can feel good about themselves is making everybody else miserable. And you know, just to say, oh, if you take a couple of pills and everything will be okay. No, it, it doesn't work like that. If someone doesn't have a soul, no amount of chemicals will change them. Sure, you have sociopaths who are using drugs because that is the only way they can somehow conceive of a personality. You know, because they say, well, I chose to put a pill in my mouth, therefore anything that comes from that is what I choose because that is what I want. And this is my being. And there's just no... Uh, they, they, someone without a soul does not have a personality. They can only imitate others. So you've got people imitating what they see on TV. They go around imitating people who are perceived to be successful. A psychopath does have a personality, but in relation to us it's very corrupted because it is a demon personality. They, they don't have a hope. I think they know that on Judgment Day they go straight into, you know, the fire. And so they're just determined to do as much wickedness as they can. So we can't say it is a purely humanistic problem. There is... Well, if you want to call it metaphysical, esoteric, uh, spiritual problem behind all this, yes. And this is why these people seek to draw others in. For the 5% on this earth who are just naturally bad, I guarantee you there's 10% who will cater to their every whip. So until next time.